December 2007, it was a dark and stormy night, the kind that sends shivers down the spine. My friends and I had gathered at an old, run-down cabin in the woods for a weekend getaway. As avid horror game enthusiasts, we had decided to try out a new and mysterious game that had recently surfaced on the dark corners of the internet, the game was called The Abyssal Descent, and its description warned of a spine-chilling experience that could drive players to the edge of their sanity. Ignoring the warning signs, we were eager to delve into the unknown and challenge ourselves to the ultimate horror experience, I fired up my computer, and as the game's eerie intro played, a sense of unease washed over me. The haunting music seemed to seep into my soul, and I noticed the shadows in the room shifting with every flicker of the monitor, the main menu was simplistic yet sinister, a pitch black background adorned with flickering candles that seemed to have an unnatural glow. The only option available was, start game, and with trepidation, I clicked it, as the game loaded, the atmosphere in the cabin grew tense. The wind outside howled like a tortured soul, and the cabin's creaks merged with the game's haunting ambience. My friends watched with eager anticipation, excited to see how I would react to this unsettling experience, the game began with me controlling a lone character trapped in an eerie, desolate mansion. The graphics were hauntingly realistic, and I couldn't shake the feeling that something was observing me from within the game itself. The oppressive silence was broken only by the character's echoing footsteps, which intensified the sense of isolation. As I explored the mansion, I stumbled upon cryptic notes and sinister clues that hinted at a dark past filled with unspeakable horrors. The game's puzzles were cleverly designed, but their solutions were veiled in macabre riddles. With each revelation, the atmosphere grew more sinister, and my heart pounded in my chest like a war drum, as I delved deeper into the game, I noticed something strange, the character I controlled began to bear an uncanny resemblance to me. The face on the screen seemed to morph into my own reflection, mirroring my terrified expressions. The experience became a distorted reflection of my reality, as if the game had tapped into my deepest fears, the boundaries between the virtual world and reality began to blur. My friends' faces twisted into grotesque masks, and their laughter sounded like sinister cackles echoing in a nightmarish abyss. The cabin around me seemed to warp, its walls pulsating like a living entity, trapping us within a malevolent force. With trembling hands, I tried to exit the game, but the quit button had vanished from the menu. Panic set in, and I called out to my friends, only to hear chilling whispers in response. It felt like an unseen force had severed all connections to the outside world, leaving us stranded in this nightmare, the game relentlessly plunged me into a labyrinth of terror, where reality and fantasy collided, and I could no longer distinguish between the two. Every corner turned revealed twisted, contorted faces leering at me, leaving me questioning my own sanity, hours passed, but the in-game clock stood still. It was as if time itself had frozen, chaining us to this torment indefinitely. The cabin's walls seemed to bleed with malevolence, and the storm outside raged with furious intensity, as if the elements themselves were trying to claw their way in. As the night dragged on, the game became an inescapable abyss, consuming my mind like a ravenous beast. The eerie music intensified, blending with the cacophony of fear that filled the air. My friend's desperate cries for help sounded like distant echoes, swallowed by the darkness that enveloped us, in that night of endless horror, I realized that, the abyssal descent, was not just a game, it was a sinister portal to a realm of unfathomable darkness. It had ensnared us, pulling us deeper into the abyss, and there was no escape, to this day, I don't know if I ever made it out of that nightmarish ordeal. The memories are fragmented, haunting me like a recurring nightmare. The cabin in the woods remains abandoned. A place feared by locals who speak of an accursed game that drives people to madness. If you ever come across, the abyssal descent, heed this warning, beware the malevolent force that lurks within, for once it ensnares your soul, there is no escape from the terrors that lie in wait. Thank you for watching if you enjoy watching these true stories from the internet please like share and subscribe.